Hello, welcome to Tech Shirmit. In this session, we will learn about the difference between set LL and set GT opcode. So these are the two opcodes that we use for reading the file or mainly for setting the pointer on a file. Okay, so let's discuss what is the difference between them. So here I have created the program and the program is in fully free format. And here we have specified uh, two control option star no debug IO and SRC STMT for debugging purpose. Now below to that we have declared one physical file on which we will uh, perform this operation uh, the file reading operation which is amppf1 and in my another session this is the record or this is the query i am running to see the different data which is select start from amppf1 and this is the data i am having in my physical file okay so we are uh, read, uh, declaring this file in input mode because we just want to read it we are not updating anything here and then we are using keyed of code uh, keyed keyword to because it contains one key value now on line number 18 we have declared one variable which is a key value and it this variable we will use to store the key value and then uh, we will look for the specific uh, data which is equal to that key value now here on line number 24 we are using set ll for setting the pointer on this employee id which is 2 so what it will do it will set the pointer and employee id 2 and then it will read the data from 2 to 6 because we have last record as 6 employee id as 6 okay so one by one it will go increasing order and it will read the all data but it will start from 2 because we have set the lower limit so l set ll means lower limit okay so and below to that we have we are just running one loop to read the data and before that we are using the read opcode to read the uh, data from the file and after that we are just running one loop to fetch the data till the uh, end of file occur and we are displaying the employee id and employee name and for reading the next record we are again using the read opcode inside the loop so once the file is ended it will came out of the loop and it will set the star inlr equals to star on okay so let's compile this program and see the output we got the first record as 2 which is Abhishek Kumar then likewise it will go till the employee ID 6 but here the one thing is need to uh, taken care like uh, here it, this record starts from the 2 okay and this is the only difference between the set L and set GT so now we will do the same thing but with the help of set GT and then you have you will find out the exact difference so if I compile it and call it again, so this time it fetch the record from employee ID 3, not from 2. So this is the only difference between set GT and set LL. So what set GT do? It set the pointer to the greatest value. Like uh, set LL is setting the pointer on the exact value that we are passing, but set GT pass the uh, set the pointer to the next value of the uh, of the value that we are passing here so i'm i am passing it here at two so it will increment it by one and then it will uh, go for the second record um, means the second highest or greatest value okay so we have set the pointer to two then it will uh, set the pointer on two and read the next record okay so gt is mainly for reading the next record and set ll reads from the same pointer or from same record so this is the only difference so if anyone ask you like what is the difference between set ll and set gt so you can see that set ll reads the data from the same pointer where we have uh, set the pointer but if we talk about the set gt then it reads from the next record of the pointer so it sets the pointer on uh, one specific value and then reads the data from the next value so this is the only difference between set ll and set gt so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will learn few more things oh thank you for watching texture method